Stella, hello there. Keen to discuss your next task. I am. The word will already have reached Maelstrom Command. Protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission success. The honor is rightfully yours, Poogie. Once you get a must commend you on a job well done, we speak again soon. Level 34 MSQ. Uh, this is useless. Turn to inventory. Turn to inventory. Hey friends, hi Tataru. Guess what? Mission success. Mission success, guys. Oh shit, I don't talk to you. You're lying.
Uh, thank you for coming, Poogie. What of your charm? It has reached me some time ago. But I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First day for now, Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel that the loss of the words are light less keenly, and that there is no greater compliment than that. You and the others are heroes. The people limsa limsa forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your retort port to the Admiral forthwith. We send my regards to the sign of the Seven Dots. Spooky, this is Amenphilia. Ishtola has informed me of your success. We have won a great victory for the people of Azoia, one that should not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and Ishtola emerged from Oshkomoro unscathed. But Tatsuru and the others seemed as glad as they did they did not Titan's fall. We look forward to your hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There's much to discuss. You couldn't tell me while I was there. I was there. Right there, dude. Ah, I was already there. Hi Molly Wasaurus. Hello there my friend. Good to see you. What are you doing up right now? Untradeable? Get rid of that garbage. But it's good to see you. Uh, Twitch can't buffer on me, so let me refresh. Could be me. Uh, there we go. Well, there we go. Hello there. Good day. It's good. It's, 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 uh, odd to see you at this hour. What the fuck is wrong with Twitch? I don't know. I'm just selling shit. Mmm, that's leather that I need. Perfect. But hi, hello there. It might be you, Poogie. It says I have excellent connection. Connection. Keep talking because the voice don't match when you talk. And it keep buffering. Oh shit. Oh yeah, drop frames 20%. What is going on? Mm -mm -mm. That's it. That's a little... Okay, so... Things should have worked a little bit better. It was not like this earlier today. It was not like this earlier today. Um.
Okay, I think whatever was happening might have stopped. Now it matches when you talk. Is it still buffering too, or...? Anyway, hello there, my friend. Thank you for stopping in. I'm glad it matches when I talk. I've been, uh, I'm a little sicky. I started feeling I had cold yesterday. And, uh, I was feeling good until just now. Like, it just hit me again. That I was sick. Has it buffered in a while? It's not buffering. How are you? I'm I'm good, but my throat is starting to feel uh, a little like it's like maybe I shouldn't have gone live. Maybe I should just play some once human offline. I want. I really wanted to play once human. But I was like, I don't want to start a new character. And I was like, I really don't want to stream the old character. So let me just play Final Fantasy. Be right back, I game. Heard. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bro, all these people are burnt. No way. Oh my god. No fucking way. <clears throat> Damn, the self and everything? This one is glad. Walking on is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Damn it, dude. Thank heavens he is safe. Louis Soir, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time, it will illuminate the realm once more. <laughs> Louis Soir. That's how you say that name. Oh shit, it's this bitch. We have come for the one who slayed Ifrit and Titan. Damn, I ain't even there, bitch. Bring him forth, or you shall know no mercy. Fucking Tataru. Sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Jenga, do shit for you. Fuck you. Conditions? 
There speaks the supreme sire. I'll grant you have courage, but you would be better served by armor. It's Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. No, no. No. no! Conditions of surrender denied. Cease at once! Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. Mm. I said enough. We leave. Bring the prisoners. Yeah, and they know about the powers too. Walking, walking, one. Minfinia asked me to. In case walking one returned, this one was to say, I cherished an eastern Thalaran. Walking one was claimed sanctuary. This one tried to protect walking one Minfinia from imperial ones. Forgive me, this one. Save. Damn. Bro, that's kind of shitty. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's super shitty. Damn, I can't believe I killed. Did I not notice Tataru not in the front? I kind of want to see. I want to see. The music's playing out here. No, it's not. But I thought it was not there either.
We do 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 Something troubling you, my son. You have the look of one who has endured great suffering. If there's anything I can do to help, anything at all, just need only ask. The wild roses are dead, father, and I don't know what to do. The wild roses, I see. You may speak freely here. We're all friends of the silence. How could this have happened? And you are certain that Minfilia was among those taken by the Garleans? Let us pray no further harm comes to them. You may stay here for as long as you wish. It's the least I can do for a friend of Minfilia's. I have known her since she was but a child. Well, do I recall the day of our first meeting? I swore then to everything in my power to support her. And I would gladly offer the same self service to her brethren in service. So please, no matter what you require, you need not hesitate to ask. Marquise! Would you come here for a moment? Uh, yes, father. It's Sid. If you require assistance, pray with, speak with Marquise. He is a trifle shy, but I'm sure he means well. I should explain. Marquise is a survivor of the Battle of Cartineau. Alas, his experience took a terrible toll upon his mind. Had not taken him into our care, he would have surely suffered and perished in the desert. Marquise, I want you to look after Poogie. Do you understand? Yes, Father. Level 35. You can't take it with you. Okay, so we're officially uh, crossing over to level 35 MSQ. When we do this, I want to do my white mage quest. Marquise has a personal request to make of you. Excuse me, Poogie. Do you have a moment of concerns this broken? Horologue, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. This is something familiar about, but just what I cannot say it. Perhaps if I tinker with the advice, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Camp Drybones in my stead to obtain a bullpoint chisel and a pair of needle nose pincers. They're often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Of course, I did not expect you to fit the bill. Here's the coin purse that should cover it. Okay. So it's close by. Let's get the two items.
I need a traveling coin. Ah, Chisel, you say it. Apparently, you know, those pirates, those things don't come cheap. I have this. That spoils. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payments. Nice to do business with you. <laughs> okay. So, let's change gears a little bit. And let's do our level 35 white mage quest. And probably our level 40 white mage quest. <laughs> oh man. Sleep is gonna be rough tonight, I can already tell. But that's neither here nor there. Senna, she would like to teach you to commune with the elementals. Okay. <laughs> ah, Poogie, looking ever more like the white mage, I see. And yet, I feel you are as ready to perform the quietening as the Chocobo chick is to carry a wood whaler clad in full plate. But take heart. For we almost begin somewhere. Today I would teach you the art of communing with the elementals. This is by far any measure the very foundation of our art. That means by which we preserve harmony between the forest and our people. Now far from Cyril Haven, you shall find a tree. A mere sapling in the shadow of the guardian tree. But one that light has likewise been consumed by anger and fear. I would ask that you play keep this tree. The process is quite simple. Stand before the tree and raise your hands. Commune with the elementals and, and resi that reside within and continue yourself to them until your feelings are absolute in harmony. Be forewarned, however, any angry elemental can be stubborn as my dear brother. Do not be surprised if you find your honest plea rebuffed and foul creatures sent to drive you from the forest. No matter what happens, you must remain calm Dispatch the creatures, settle your heart, and speak to the trees once more. If your heart is true, your voice will reach the elemental over long. Remember this, Poogie. Under no circumstances must you allow your anger and fear to overcome you. As practitioners of white magic, the magic of Sakur and Solace, such emotions are an anthem to their very existence. Where am I? I don't know where we're at. Let's just teleport to Wrench Badge Metals. It'll be easier to do it that way. And now I know where I'm at.
cool raptor skin. Kind of wrap the shank. Nice, dude. That'll be good for cooking later. Master, I quieted the tree and I, I was like, uh, Krista, can't you feel its pain? Bird gully. A short while ago, I sense a great anger abate. The forest is quieter, more welcoming now. I would seem to that you have passed your first test, Pookie. The trees are the elementals, the elementals are the trees. The lush bird of the wood is inseparable from the spirits that dwell within it. But you do not need to hear this from the ink. Doubtless you felt it for yourself when you healed that tree. Above all else, the elementals prize harmony. When they sense a threat to harmony, they summon forth all the powers at their disposal to expose it. For so long have we lived in peace with the elementals. Why now do they turn against us? I can offer no answers, only theories. But one thing is certain, we must quell the Great One's fury, and do so, lest Padania bear the full brunt of the forest wrath. To see the forest wounds and restore the harmony, that is our duty, as mages of the white, and it is our responsibility that transcends race or nation. I sense your success in soothing the ailing tree, and I am more certain of this than ever. Sadly, m many cannot see past established practice and tradition my dear brother among them. One would hope for a bit more open-mindedness given his youth, but alas, his pride as Pajal will not permit it. For my part, I am not entirely unsympathetic for his concerns, and yet the task before us is too great. We must bring around to see reason, but how? Forgive me, Poogie. I'll be alone with my thoughts for a while. Uh, worry not, though. I will find a way to deal with our room. Grand healing over time effect to target region. <laughs> we got a new spell. Looks way better, by the way. Nice. Sounds better. Looks better. We got a new spell, region. Okay. So I can apply this on tank. So, cast region. It's five. I like that. 
We'll cast region on five. How much mana does it take? So instant cast, uh, recast two and a half seconds, only 400 MP cost. Grant healing to overtime effect, cure currency 200. Yeah, but how much does it actually cure? Okay. Well, let's learn the next spell since we're here. Rayasawa would ask you for a favor. Cure level 3 restores own or target party members HP and all party members nearby. Target! Oh my god! So it, it's me and restores own or targeted party members HP and all other party members nearby that's not the same for cure 2 is it restores targets HP restores targets HP 450 700 that MP cost is quite quite a bit two and a half times the amount okay let's try to get Holy shit. Tier 3. People are- oh, Poogie, I owe you an apology. When last we spoke, I promised that I would find a way to convince my brother to accept you, but I fear he intently refuses to heed my words. Why? The more I try to reason with him, the more he shuts his ears to me. All pride and no common sense. That one. I can scarce believe that him and I are kin. Nina bump my nose. So intent is he to prove that you are unneeded, that he dashed out the forest all alone, boasting that he would placate every last elemental and save the forest all by himself. Needless to say, such a task is far beyond his powers. There is part of me that would like nothing more than to see this foolish boy learn his lesson, and yet as a sister, I fear for him. Would you go look for him, Poogie? Seed seer or no, he is in many ways still a child, and the forest grows ever more unsafe these days. I thought to go myself, but if you were to save my brother from his own recklessness, perhaps you may finally see how fast tedious he has been. When I last spoke with him, he announced his intentions to begin his efforts in the Bramble Patch. With any luck, you may still find him there. Now please go in haste before some ill fate befalls him. Oh, brother, where art thou? So I just go north. Oh, shit. Seed traveling. I don't need any of this. But I do need that. I gotta go.
See if we can get a land level. That'd be really cool. Let me jump on my chick up at least. I will send you to Jesus. Ah, uh, then let's go. Let's go to Jesus. Let's go see him. It's time we go see our creator. Hmm. If it isn't my sister's favorite adventure, come to show me up, have you? Well, you can march right back and tell sister that I'm doing just fine. I only need uh, some resting. <laughs> Even if I were hurt and unable to placate this tree, what would a run of the mill adventure like you do about it? Oh, well, let's go ahead and. Uh... Oh shit, I love all. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Beginner's luck. If you think healing a sapling or two is going to convince me that you are a worthy inheritor of the teachings of Master Etoa. Arun, you yourself do not believe those words. Sister, what are you doing here? The 
Sing to my pig-headed brother's safety. What do you think I am doing? For better or worse, it would appear you suffer only from bruises to your leg and real pride. Adu, for all your obsessancy, I know that deep down you are no fool. You are wise beyond your years. You realize as well as I do the dire fate that will befall Gudania. We do not quell the quiet one's fury and restore peace to the wood. The adventure is not Pajali. This is true, but what of it? Would you blindly uh, trumpet tradition as the very forest turns against us and brings ruin to our home? We have greater calling to answer, and you know this. I do, sister. Oh, my dear Arun, what are sisters for if not to forgive their little brother's fits of folly? Now, Poogie, I believe in the most important task of all still awaits us. Let us return to Camp Tranquil. Nice, dude. We'll have our level 40 mage quest. We'll continue with MSQ, which is 35. We're about to hit level 41. Thank you. I knew it was only a matter of time before Arun came around to reason. Yet his hesitance to accept you was not entirely unfounded. When we first met, I promised that one day I would share with you the tale of how white magic came to be regarded as a forbidden art. Well, I suppose this is as good as any day for the telling. The tale begins some three millennia ago, in the fifth astral era. It was the time of the endless frost, when a barren wasteland to snow and rime stretch as far as the eye could see. Food was scarce, and Morth was scarcer. The histories hold many of a grim tale of those who died in their bed, starving and bed numbered. So did our ancestors discover magic, born out of the most fundamental instinct, survival. In time, the winter thawed, and magic was no longer essential for its survival. But once awakened to its conveniences, there was no returning to how things were. Not for long, the people discovered all the myriad ways in which magic could be employed and civilization flourished. But prosperity breeds contempt and nations warred for power and riches. So the people saw seek greater and greater power. To rain destruction down upon their enemies, so was born black magic, the most devastating form of sorcery the world had ever seen. At the same time, another form of magic emerged from brought forth by those who would keep this immense destructive power in check. That is white magic, our magic. Does this surprise you? Just as there can be no dawn without night, the white and black are but two sides of the same coin. War raged on, and magic was used and abused with little concern for the consequence. And consequences there were. Unchecked use of magic soon dried the flow of aether, threatening to bring blight to the land. Magic of healing? It made little difference. If used with no concern for the Aether, our magic could prove just as ruinous to the land as the most devastating black magic spell. And so is that the practicing of white magic was forbidden with one exception. The Pajal. Our kind was entrusted as sole shepherds of the now forbidden art, to serve as healers and bringers of peace, while ensuring that this power would never again be misused. Though he's still young, Arun feels the profound sense of responsibility as strongly as any of us, thus his hesitance to accept you. But having seen your abilities and the sincerity of your intentions, you can rest assured his doubts have been dispelled. With the three of us united in place and purpose, and your skills ever growing, the day may perform the quieter draws near. To our fortune, the Great One has yet been entirely consumed by fury, our time remains short. To commune with the Great One and restore the Twelvesville to its former state of harmony, 
We must truly be one of heart and mind. It is to that end that Ayotawa can't has guided us to you. Further your mastery of our art, Pugin. Let us mend the wounds of the wood together. New spell. Yes. So cure three. I'll put it right there. I like that right there. So level forty five the next one. Level forty five. Okay. So, uh, let's continue with, uh, some of us cube. There's some MSQ. Let's talk to this homie, Marquez. Have you brought the tools I requested? I did. Hmm. Something occurs to me. Please wait here a moment. It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how, how do, did I do it? These hands, my hands, they moved as their mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt of uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. Pardon me, Poogie. This was a mistake. Please give the horologue to Sister Alude. The man once owned it, and it is currently in her care. I think it best that it return to him. Good evening to you, sir. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? No, I came to give this to you. Prepared. Horolog. Horolog. Oh, I'm dropping a lot of frames again. What is wrong with my internet? Hmm. I might have to, uh... What the fuck is going on with my internet? Internet speed test. 